What's up guys, it's Harvey here. Um, today I'm going to be talking you through all the mods I've done to my Clio RS200. I'm sat in it right now, just been on a little drive. Thought it'd be a good time to just show you guys um, what I've done to it. I know I've done an intro on my car, but it was a really quick run for I'd rather walk around it now and literally talk to you all the mods I've done, everything I've changed and what I've done to it and where I'm at now and also some plans for the future. So this is going to be like, I don't know what the title of this video is going to be called, something like, I don't know. Daily in a modified Clio RS200. I don't know. I'll, I'll just talk through a load of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of the car now, and then I'm gonna switch my camera over so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So, exterior wise, as you can see at the front, I've got the black badges, which I had this done here. These are just, um, I think they're called uh, Diamond Performance on eBay. They, they do these, they're really good. Uh, I've also done my girlfriend's car, they've never come off and they look great. Uh, then I've got my custom plate. Uh, I've got this wrapped uh, local, uh, just so it like goes zigzag. I, I did have it straight at first, but it looked a bit weird. But now it looks a lot more meaner, because it's going with the flow of the rest of the stock black gloss black bit. And it makes it look like it's got a really wide mouth. It makes it look like it's really cool. Uh, so yeah, I've got that. Uh, moving on to the side of the car. Um, I've got these uh, just black speed lines. I had these done in satin black because it was curved when I first got the car two years ago. Uh, they're a bit dirty now. I was on a drive. So they're satin black speed lines. I've got 20 mil spaces on, which you can see through there. Uh, stop Brembo's, obviously. Then I've got the RS center caps from a Mark IV Clio's and I think the Megans. Uh, they were 80 pound for all four off the of Renault Parts Direct. They, they look the, they make the wheels look so much better though. Look. Uh, moving on. We've got these, which are carbon skins uh, on Facebook. Uh, Matt, someone does these. Just go to carbon skins on Facebook. These are the door bullets. I think these are 70 pound for two. Uh, carbon fiber uh, look with white text on. Look really nice, because it was originally chrome, didn't like it. Also got the wind deflectors, which have pinstripes. I think it makes it look like it's got a really nice accent. Then I've got the handles, which are usually the horrible silver color. I took these off during lockdown and actually sprayed them black. They actually need a polish, there's a few light scratches on them now. But I sprayed them black, wasn't too hard to do. Definitely recommend doing it, it makes the car stand out a lot more. Stickers here, which you've seen in another video I've stuck on. Some decals, uh, just something to make it different. Again, 20 mil spaces on the rear, so it's 20 mil all around. Uh, moving to the back, I've got the official Renault Sport Cup spoiler. It's not the K-Tech replica. I think I paid 220 pounds for that when I first got the car because I really wanted it. It looks too bare with no spoiler on. And then I got that painted and that makes it, it look, makes it look really nice. Uh, I've got the short stubby aerial, which I put on just off eBay. I think it was like six, six or seven quid. Looking at the back of the car, I've got my Wax and Away sticker who I use for like my detailing products and stuff. Uh, then I've got again, diamond black black badge. I've got the Clio Plasti Dipped actually, it looks really nice, I've done that once and not had to redo it yet, and it's been on there at least a year, a year and a half. Then I've got a Carbon Skins Black Renault Sport Badge, which I've just put on in a recent video. Makes it all matching, so I've got rid of all the chrome. Um, so yeah, that was I think £40 or something like that. Uh, 200 fuse gets 200, exhaust tips you can't see, they're fake. Uh, I need to de-wiper it, that's a plan I've got to come. Uh, apart from that, that's pretty much it. I've, I've got a Scorpion non-res catback system on, um, which is really good. One of the, my favorite parts of the car. Let's give you a walk around of the car now. Uh, it makes it sound really aggressive. Oh, I've also obviously got Bilstein B14 coilovers. Uh, I got them on a deal from K-Tech Racing in a sale once, I think they were 650 quid. And then I've got them fitted, which is a massive job for the guys who took two kits, really complicated on these. 
Really good coil over, really good to fast road. It got aligned as like a rake setup, as you can see, it's lower at the front and the back. Handles perfectly. Uh, it's really nice stamps. And yeah, I can't really fault that. Uh, so the Bill CMB 14, that's one of the best mods I've done, along with the exhaust. Uh, I'm wanting to get these uh, tinted yellow. I just need to figure out how to get the fog out and get some tint, and I'll be doing them. Again, it's really nice fitment with the 20mm spacers. You could go 25, but I like the camera I've got there. It's really nicely aligned. It looks really aggressive. They poke out just the right amount, and I really like how it looks. Um, so yeah, that, that's all the mods really. The main performance ones are the Bilstein B14s and the exhaust, which look insane. Um, well, the Bilstein B14s look insane. Obviously, the uh, exhaust sounds insane, uh, which you can see in other videos of mine. But yeah, that's my uh, Renault Clio Arts 200, all the mods I've done to it. Uh, I'll take you inside, just have you show you up inside. Um, so the only other things I've done to it are this. I got off Renault Parts Direct when I first got the car, which just screws on, I think like 20 quid. I've got the custom, well, custom, just an aftermarket stereo. Um, that's really about it. Oh, and the Sunstrip, uh, which I'm sure you guys have seen. I just got the black bit off Kate at racing and then I messaged one of the guys uh, somewhere on, on Facebook to get that printed and did that on myself. Makes it look really nice. Yeah, apart from that, that is more or less everything I've done to the car. So uh, that's everything I've done to the car. Um, I'll give you a little start up now while I'm sat in it before I take the video off. So there's the sound. That's, that's a Scorpion non-res working there. I'll try and put some clips in here, like cinematics, if I if I get time to do that and show you. But uh, yeah, that's the car. Um, all my mods I've done to it. Stuff I've got coming. I've got I, I've got a K Tech induction kit in the works. I'm just waiting for the guy to say it's available and I'm going to collect it. So an hour away from me. Um, I wanted to do a strut brace on the front and a K brace on the back. Uh, the front fog's tinted. And then we'll, we'll see where we go from there. Uh, I'm not sure what else I want to do to this car. So, yeah, it should be fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the car. Hopefully it's, it's nice and pretty to look at. I like looking at it. I think it's a beautiful car. Um, and, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If there's any mods you want me to do or any videos you want me to do, um, drop them in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.